Polrak Pasla, The Return of the Deputy, by Julian Ursyn Nemcevich is a significant piece in Polish literature, reflecting the historical context of Poland during the late 18th century. The poem, written in 1790, captures the complex emotions and political atmosphere prevalent during the time of the Polish partitions. Nemcevich, a prominent figure in Polish Romanticism, employs powerful imagery and evocative language to convey a sense of national loss, betrayal, and hope for the future. The poem is set against the backdrop of a nation in turmoil, symbolized by the returning deputy, the protagonist. The deputy returns to his homeland after a prolonged absence, only to find it ravaged and oppressed by foreign forces. Nemcevich skillfully employs descriptive language to paint a vivid picture of desolation and despair, depicting the once thriving landscapes now marred by destruction and suffering. This imagery serves as a poignant metaphor for the state of Poland itself, once a proud and independent nation, now fragmented and subjugated. Throughout the poem, Nemcevich explores the theme of betrayal and the disillusionment faced by the protagonist. The deputy, representing the patriotic spirit of Poland, is disheartened to witness the betrayal of his countrymen, the political intrigues, and the loss of sovereignty. The poet's use of emotive language conveys the deep sense of betrayal and abandonment felt by the protagonist, echoing the sentiments of many Poles during that tumultuous period. Amidst the prevailing despondency, however, Nemcevich infuses the poem with a glimmer of hope and resilience. The protagonist's return symbolizes a renewed determination to fight for the restoration of Poland's dignity and independence. Despite the bleakness of the situation, there is a palpable undercurrent of patriotic fervor and a call to action, urging the Polish people to unite and reclaim their nation's sovereignty. The poem's structure and language contribute significantly to its emotional impact. Nemcevich employs a mix of vivid imagery, poignant metaphors, and emotive language to evoke strong emotions in the reader. The use of descriptive passages detailing the ruined landscapes and the protagonist's inner turmoil creates a sense of empathy and connection with the plight of Poland. Additionally, the poem's rhythmic flow and carefully crafted verses contribute to its lyrical quality. Nemcevich's skillful manipulation of language, employing powerful metaphors and allegorical references, elevates the poem to a work of profound literary significance. The use of allegory, in particular, allows for multiple layers of interpretation, inviting readers to delve deeper into the socio political commentary embedded within the text. In conclusion, Porat Pasla by Julian Ursyn Nemcevich stands as a poignant and powerful piece of Polish literature, capturing the essence of a nation's struggle for freedom and identity. Through its evocative language, vivid imagery, and thematic depth, the poem transcends its historical context, resonating with universal themes of patriotism, betrayal, and hope. Nemcevich's masterful craftsmanship and poignant portrayal of the human spirit enduring in the face of adversity ensure the enduring relevance and impact of this literary work.